Good evening, everyone. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to give you this book re uh, review that I that I read. Um, welcome on behalf of the Cindy Dennis Ministries. This is the month of March, and they are reviewing the book called Just Enough Light for the Step I'm On by Stormy or Martian. And this is what the book looks like. And it's a very good book. It's a very um, heartfelt book. Uh, she speaks to us. To me, it was like personal, as if she was right next to me as I read the book, the different chapters. But one of the chapters that caught my eye was the chapter, and let me take my glasses off. One of the chapters was chapter 18, which was on page 151. And in it, she says, and I'll read, when our losses are severe, we feel like a light has gone out inside of us and nothing can turn it back on except the restoration of that which is no more. It leaves a hole in our heart the size of the Grand Canyon. But even if what was lost can never be brought back, a part of our life that has died as a result can be made to live again. When we walk in the light of God's resurrecting power, he can soothe our pain, heal our wounds, and fill the empty places in our heart. And for me, that spoke to me because I had, well, I'll say testimony. In the year 2017, I was in Puerto Rico, um, went down there to help my mom with my dad, and he died you know, a month after I was there, but in the interim, I chose to stay with her. 2017, my sister died, my husband died, my mother died. And so when she talked about the loss, leaving a hole in our hearts, the size of the Grand Canyon, I understood that. I identified when she spoke that. And I appreciated the part where she said that only God and his resurrection power could heal us in that moment. A lot of us go through that type of issue, and it's like we can never get over it. We always think about it, and we always sad in that. And it's not to say that you're not supposed to be sad. It's okay. It's part of life. But for me, it was the fact that the way I handled it was basically the way she handled it as well. And so that's why it spoke to me. But she also says in the same chapter 18 in uh, page 154, she says, Often people blame God for the tragedies in their lives and close themselves off from the very one who can take their pain away. But we won't make that same mistake if we will remember two things. God is good and Satan comes to kill and to steal and to destroy. It's crucial to not confuse the two during a time of loss. If you suffer any kind of loss, don't try to get your arms around it. Let God get his arms around you. He knows your sufferings and will give you the comfort of his presence and the healing balm of his life. Again, like I said, reading this particular chapter hit home to me because of what I had gone through in my losses. Who would have ever thought that I would have had to go through what I went through? Who would have thought that she went through what she went through? For her, it was her friend who died from cancer. And she says that in the, that chapter 18 of the book and how it left her because she was her best friend. They were like sisters. So can you imagine losing a loved one in such manner? And then you have to deal with it and go on with your life. And so when my sister died, I went on. My husband died. I had to deal with that. And six weeks later, I had to deal with my mom's um, death as well. But through it all, I can stand here today before you and say that through it all, God held my hand. God healed me. God walked me through it. And just as she stated in the book, um, it was the same for both of us, even though, like I said, I've never 
knew her, never met her, but by reading the book, it became personal to me. And I continue to read more and more different chapters that she's written on. She's talked about how sometimes we're afraid of our futures. It's not being afraid per se of the future, but sometimes we get into a mode in, in which we become frightened, like, oh my God, if I don't have enough money, or if I don't have enough food, or, or how am I going to pay my bills? And that type of fear, which fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real. And so we should always look to God in all situations. God is our Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. I'm here again as a testimony. God has provided for me. I'm still standing because of him. It's not in my power. It's in his power. And the sooner we can recognize that and accept that, the better we will be for it. It's not to say it's not going to erase our doubts or our concerns, but God is there for us. He loved us even before the foundation. It talks about our past, things that we have gone th through, things that maybe we're not a, we are ashamed of to talk about. Guess what? God has forgiven us, but we need to learn how to forgive ourselves. And in that, again, she gives insight in that. And as you go through the book, after each chapter, there is a prayer to help us through. And at the end of the book, she has like a, a Bible study for each one of the chapters that she's written to help us dig deeper into those types of issues. So again, I recommend not only for the month of March, but for a lifetime, this book which is called Just Enough Light for the Step of Mom by Stormy Omashin. It's a very good book, and I recommend it, and I admonish everybody to get a copy and read it because it really, really is a good book. It's a good read. It's an easy read, but it's a thought-provoking read because, again, I, as I read the different chapters, I could see myself in those situations. And some things that she said, how she gone through, enlightened me of things that I'm going through now. So, you know, the word says iron sharpens iron. So in this case, by her words of encouragement, her words of wisdom has have been able to sharpen me. So I'm grateful today. Again, get her book. It's a good read. Thank you for your time. And hope to see you at one of the, of the Cindy Dennis uh, ministry events soon.